Welcome back guys to Kids Coding Coming Around here, and today we'll be doing the final part of our Easter Egg Hunt game. So, recap from last time what we did. So we did the ground in the last video, we did the ground, and we also did the background scrolling. And this tutorial, and the background, yeah, forgot about that. And in this tutorial we'll be working on the eggs, and we will also be working on the left and right arrow keys. So when you press down the keys, it will show which way you're going to make the game look a little bit better. So. Without further ado, let's get into the project. So, first, let's get into this, choose a sprite, right? We have the arrows. So, we have the right arrow key. So, we're just going to name this right. And then we're going to just uh, go to the costumes, delete all the other costumes. And then we can just import another one, another arrows. We're just going to name this one left. Oops. I'm going to name this one left. And then we're just going to go costumes and delete all the other ones. So now we have our right and left arrow keys. Okay, so remember when we broadcasted the message, move right and move left and hide arrow from the player? We're gonna be using them right now. So in the right arrow key, we're gonna first, we're gonna get a one green flag clicked. Let's go full screen. Uh, we're gonna go zoom in. So we're gonna set the position to 200 and then the Y would be zero. And then we're gonna clear the graphic effects in the beginning because we will be using graphics effects in this arrow. So when you move, it'll change color effect. So then we're gonna hide, hide that. And then when I receive, move right arrow from the player, th move right, then we're going to broadcast a message. We're gonna name it hide left. So basically we wanna make it so you can only have one arrow showing at a time. So people can't click both arrows at the same time and have them both show up, so it won't look good. So we're gonna ma uh, make a message called hide left. And then we have hide left. And then we're gonna go to the front layer, go to front layer. So we have to go to front layer, and then next we're gonna change color effect by one. And then after that, we're gonna show. And then after that, we're gonna do when I receive hide arrow, we're going to clear graphic effects. That's when it's not moving, then you'll get hide arrow. So I'll clear all graphic effects and then we'll hide. Now let's move on to our left arrow key. So into our left arrow key, we're going to get the same thing, pretty much the same thing right here. So right here, drag and drop that. Uh, right here, drag and drop that. And then right here, we can drag and drop that. Except we have to change some stuff, obviously. So we're going to zoom in. Right here, we're going to make it go to negative 200 instead because it's the left arrow key. And then when I receive hide arrow, this is the same. And then instead, we're going to do when I receive move left. And then we're going to broadcast hide right instead of hide left. So when you're moving to the left, you're going to hide the right arrow. So we're going to broadcast a new message. We're going to name it hide right. And then we're going to go to front. That's the same. Okay. And then right here, since uh, when you're using the right arrow key, you have to hide the left arrow. So we're going to receive when I receive hide left, clear graphic effects and hide. So oops, I meant to duplicate that. Duplicate that like that. And apparently 91.1% of you that are watching this video are not subscribed, so please subscribe to our channel. It'd really help to support our channel, and leave a like if you enjoyed watching this video. Alright, so we just finished our left arrow key, let's move on to our right arrow key. So, in the left arrow key, it broadcasts a message, so we're gonna, when I receive, hide right. So when you're using the left arrow key, you're gonna have to hide the right one, so we're just gonna duplicate this, and put it there. Okay, so now... Let's save it and let's run it. So as you can see, when you move to the right, the arrow is on the right side showing and it's changing color effect. And then when you move to the left, it's showing on the left side and changing color effect. And you can't hold them both down at the same time. Uh, when you press them both down, it'll just go to one of them. So as you can see, it's working. Now let's go into our backdrop. So we're gonna get some code in our backdrop. So uh, in our scrolling platformer video, we showed that um, when you like want to place like a backdrop, I mean not a platform or like some item in a certain position We're gonna put a script. So where you press the M button It's going to uh, it's gonna like go to that position of your mouse So you know exactly where to place everything. So what we're gonna do is when key M is pressed So we're gonna get M So when key M is pressed, we're gonna go full screen and then we're gonna set the G mouse position right here so we're going to basically just join this. We're going to 
join this with the mouse X plus the scroll G X G scroll X. So we're going to join and then we're going to add mouse X. So wherever the position of the mouse is plus the G scroll X. And then we're just going to get another join. So we're going to get another join right here. We're going to put a comma, comma space. And then we're going to get the mouse Y. Uh, and then we're going to get the uh, mouse Y right here. Okay, that's all you have to do. So, and then we're going to show the variable. Yeah, I forgot about that. We're going to show it. So when you go right here, press M. It'll go to wherever the position you are is, your mouse is. So basically, it just makes it easier. So when you're placing uh, things like objects to collect, collectibles and platforms, you know where to place them. So we're gonna use this code to like place all of our eggs. You can save the project. Now let's go into our eggs and let's place our clones. All right, so inside our eggs, first we're going to get our one green flag clicked. So when green flag is clicked, we're gonna set a new variable. So we're gonna make it egg found, eggs found. So eggs found. So we make it for all sprites. So we're gonna set eggs found to zero and we're gonna hide and then we're going to copy some of this code from here the place clones we're gonna need that so we can just drag and drop that into the eggs and then the position we'll take that as well uh, we also need the reset and I think that's pretty much it for it and then we go back to here let's get this all so this part stays the same this is just a scrolling, and then right here we have the place clones. So we're going to do place clone at x and y. So we're going to do, instead of multiplying, we're just going to put the x and y. And then instead right here, we're going to take out the go to, and then we have this. And then we're just going to put that right here, create clone myself, and we're going to change color effect by 25, so all the eggs vary in color. So here we have this code. And then next, we're going to do a when I start as a clone. So, uh, we're gonna move this down here. So we have that, that. And then when I start as a clone, we are going to go to the X and Y. So basically we're gonna go to the X and Y, and then we're gonna show it, show the egg. And then we're gonna wait until it's touching the mouse pointer and mouse down. So basically you just wanna wait until you're clicking on the egg. So we're gonna do wait until, and then we're gonna use an and, so we're gonna wait until touching mouse pointer. So we're gonna make sure it's touching the mouse pointer and you're clicking down on it. And then we're gonna start a sound pop. So we're gonna play a sound when you click on it. And then we're gonna change the number of eggs found by one. And then after that, we're gonna broadcast a message. We're gonna name it check score. We're gonna be using this later to check your score to see if it's eligible to win because you need 12 eggs to win. And then after that, we're gonna delete this clone after you click on it. All right, next, we're gonna get a the scrolling. So we're gonna receive move ground, move ground. Then I'm just gonna get the position. And then we're gonna do the X minus the G scroll X. X minus G scroll X. And then we're gonna put the Y. All right. And then next, we're gonna have to do the clones. So we're gonna have to pl uh, place the clones. We're going to do when I receive setup. When I receive setup, we are going to set X and we're going to set the Y. Set X and we're also going to set the Y both to zero. And then we're going to go to the front layer. Make the eggs go to the front. Put this down here. And then we're going to go backward one layer. So we want to make it go to the front and then back. So like we want to make it behind some stuff but in front of others. And after that, we're going to place some clones. So what you do is basically you just move around. Oh, let's say you want to put a clone right here, for example. Like maybe you want to put a clone right here, right? So you would put the M and then you would put the place clone and then you would put 92, negative 89. Oops, I wasn't clicking on it. 92 and then negative 89. So here we have place the clone. So when you play it, it's going to place a clone right there. 
So that's what you want to do. So basically just repeat this 12 times until you have enough. Um, you just repeat 12 times and then place it in places where you want it. And that's pretty much it uh, for the eggs. I'm just going to get my own positions and put them in here. Okay, so now we have all my clones placed down. So these are the positions I had for my other game. So you don't have to make it the s same thing as mine, but these are the places where I wanted to put my eggs. Um, this is like wherever you want to put it. Um, depends where you want to put it, so let's play it. So there you have an egg right there, egg, egg, so as you can see, it's like visible, but like it's, uh, some of it may be a little bit harder to find, like the one in the tree, like this one right here, yeah, so this one right there, so yes, basically where I put all my eggs, and next, after you do this, we're gonna have to hide it, and then we're gonna set the X to negative 999 to move it off the screen once you're done. All right, so let's go back to normal and let's, so I just zoomed out. These is all the code in the eggs. So if you want to take a look at it, so we have all these and then here we have all the clone placements. Okay, so next we have to work on our, you win. So to win, you have to get 12 eggs. So we're going to do the code for that. Okay, so in our U win sprite, we're gonna first, we're gonna get our one green flag clicked. So when the green flag is clicked, we're gonna hide. And then when I receive, check score, remember that. So here we're gonna check the score to see if the player is okay to win. So basically if you find all of them, then they'll let the player win. So we're gonna wait until, wait until egg found is equal to 12. So we're going to wait until the eggs found is equal to 12. 12 eggs is the maximum amount. And then we're going to broadcast a message. We're going to name it you win. You win. And then next, we're going to do make it go to the front layer. Go to front. Go to 0, 0. And then we're going to show it. And then we're going to stop all. Stop all. So here we have the you win. And then one more thing in the background, we're going to make a timer. So you can time yourself and you can like, try to speed run it. So we're going to get a, when our, when our green flag is clicked, <clears throat> when green flag is clicked, we're going to reset the timer. And then forever loop. So I'm going to go forever, set the time. We're going to make a new variable. Forgot to make it. Time. Time. And then we're going to set the time uh, to the timer. And sensing and then we're gonna when I receive uh, you win so when you when I receive you win then we're gonna stop other scripts in the sprite stop other scripts in the sprite and then we're gonna do an if else statement so this is a check if you have the fastest time so if the fastest time we're gonna make a new variable that's gonna be a cloud variable so we're gonna make it fastest time so basically, this is basically a high score. So we're going to set the, if the fastest time is equal to zero, then we're going to set the fastest time to the time. So basically, if there's no fastest time, it'll set the next high score. I mean, the next score to the fastest time. And then we're going to get if then statement. So if the time is less than, so if the timer is less than the fastest time, so if you have a faster time than the fastest time, then we'll set the fastest time to the time. Okay, so now this is like a high score. And then finally, we add our music. And we're going to set the volume to 25%. And the music we're going to add is none other than Eggs. The song Eggs from the Scratch library. Right here. This one. Okay, we're using this one. All right. So eggs, we're just going to get a forever loop, and we're just going to play sound eggs until done. Okay, let's save this uh, project. Hide all the variables that we will not need. Uh, so eggs found, we can keep that time. Put that like right here. And then fastest time, maybe in the bottom, so then it looks better. 
Okay, let's try it. So stop. Oh yeah, and I forgot we can delete the black dot. That was just to show you guys how it works, like how the scrolling works. So we're just gonna delete the black dot, delete the costume. So we just have nothing in the costume and we don't need this at all. We can just delete all this, delete this. All right, now let's save it and then let's play it. Let's turn down the volume a little bit because it's a little bit too loud. So, scroll around, there's an egg right here, egg right here, I'm just gonna try finding all the eggs, oh, I forgot an egg right there, four, uh, five, oh, I already got that one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and one in the tree. So, as you can see, when you get all of them, you win. And right here, as you can see, right here, in the ground, uh, right here, we can just receive the message. When I receive the message, uh, you win, we can just delete all the clones. So then this will go away. So, yeah, that's pretty much our project, the Easter egg hunt in Scratch. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like in this on this video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.